Hey, good morning, everybody. This your boy, Terrell Jennings, the wild child, the one and only wild child. <laughs> hey, I just found out that uh, uh, somewhere here in St. Louis, there is a stripper named Wild Love. There is a, let me be PC, there's an exotic dancer that calls herself uh, Wild Child. And uh, I found that out like I was, I was just typing in my name and it popped up and apparently she's here in St. Louis and it's extremely popular. I've never seen her, I've never met her, but it was funny to me. So I don't want people to uh, go looking for my YouTube channel or anything like that and type in Wild Child and the stripper pops up and uh, <laughs> they think it's me. But uh, mom and dad, I am not stripping not giving lap dances but uh on a real note i woke up this morning in bed and uh for some reason i just had a real tightness and a real like strange feeling in my chest it's almost like a heartache and i was uh struggling trying to figure out you know what was going on and it almost brought tears to my eyes and uh i couldn't figure out why i was so upset and why i was having such heartache and what was going on but uh I figured with everything going on right now in the world with, you know, first this Corona thing, now the riots, you know, I just had to get out the house. So loaded up muddy here and I'm heading to the lake to do the one thing I know how to do. Let's kick some bass. Good coffee. Um, I'm heading up to Bell Fountain uh, Conservation Area, just, uh, just outside the city here, nowhere too far, just to cast a few lines and see if I can make myself feel better today. Just get out the house, you know? Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm finally here. I'm at the lake. Uh, got here just a bit ago and uh, haven't really started fishing yet. I just want to take a second out to talk to y'all for a second about all this craziness that's going on now. First things first, I am not with, I am not for all the looting and uh, burning buildings and all that. I'm not, I'm not for that. I really, I really wish that didn't happen. Um, I do somewhat understand the anger and the frustration of the situation, but that's not that's not helping nothing i'm not for that um you know but at the same time when i see my people hurting and in pain you know in a strange way somehow i feel it too and you know that's a feeling i don't think any black person could ignore you know um it's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like, um, you know, when if you, I'm not sure if y'all of you or any of you have watched the video or anything, but my first time uh, witnessing it, honestly, I, I saw my uncle there. I saw I saw that dude, that dude looked like he could have been my uncle, you know? And I think everybody looks at that in a similar type of way and puts uh, himself in that situation, like, well, that's my father or my brother, or, Something similar to that, and you know, and whether you're black, white, Mexican, Asian, no matter what, you could put yourself in those shoes and say, that could have been my family member, that could have been my friend, you know. So it's sad that that situation happened. Um, I don't know what's going to come of this. Hopefully, some type of change, but you know, we'll see. But today, I'm out here at the lake to. Hopefully forget about that for at least an hour or two and see if we can catch some fish. So let's kick some bass. Super huge bite. Where he actually bent my spinner bait. Came up out of the water and just flung off the hook. So I'm going to put it back out there. See if I can get him to latch on again. That was a big bite. All right, so been fishing here for a while. Got that one good bite on this, uh, this little black and purple uh, spinnerbait. One huge bite. Uh, couldn't land him though. 
Uh, I'm gonna move around to the other side of the lake over here. If you guys don't remember, I think it was a couple years back or yeah, a couple years back. That's where I caught that uh, nice sized bass just across the lake there. So I'm gonna uh, see if I can make my way over there and see if I can have any luck over there. It's a beautiful day out here. Uh, the wind is blowing a little bit and I'm, uh, I'm actually not using uh, uh, external mic on my phone, on my, on my phone, my camera right now. So, uh, sorry if the audio sounds a little off, but we're gonna make it do for today. baby exactly how it's done right here nice little bass here that's how it's done baby nice little bass caught this guy here right up on the bank <laughs> that's how it's done gone fishing beautiful bass uh i was reeling it in he came up right to the bank because i was about to take the bait out of the water and just engulf that uh spinner bait beautiful bass i'm gonna put him back out there and keep fishing I'm done fishing now. I uh, had a few more bites, but uh, didn't land another fish, but it was a good day. It's about high noon right now, so I'm going to get out of here because I got to talk to a couple guys about uh, boats. So that's coming soon, hopefully. Uh, we'll be able to get out on, on some of these lakes and uh, fish from a different angle. But um, other than that, I hope I didn't offend nobody by uh, what I was talking about earlier. Uh, it's really not my intentions. It's not what I want to do. It's not what I'm trying to do. But, uh, you know, if it made some people feel uncomfortable, I feel like that's good. I feel like none of us should be comfortable with the way things are right now. And um, it'll take uh, a lot of us being uncomfortable for enough time for us to come together and start changing some of this stuff. So I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. I'm sorry if I offended you or rubbed you the wrong way. But these are crazy times that we're living in and only we can save us. So I'm uh, heading home right now to take a shower because I smell like a foot. <laughs> I've been out here sweating all morning, but I'm not mad because I'm always happy to get out here. It was a good day fishing. Uh, caught a nice bass and uh, had a good time just getting away from the city for a minute, getting out there and feeling the breeze, casting the line and, you know, just enjoying the day. But. Um, for all y'all out there, uh, I hope y'all continue to enjoy these. It's got a, I got a lot more fishing trips coming up, um, a lot more camping trips coming up. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, all that other stuff that uh, YouTube people tell you to do. Till next time, your boy Wild Chow, I am out. Peace.